Well, I'm going to talk about a massive online open course that we have implementing, uh, implemented uh, on the correct use of the intellectual property in academic environments. Well, this is a very sensitive topic, especially for institutions, of course, and uh, well. Uh, so we have implemented two editions and we are going to, to present the uh, comparison between the two editions of this uh, mock. The, the course uh, was implemented in the MediaDax uh, platform and uh, is composed by uh, these uh, modules uh, with uh, uh, basic uh, on, on the videos and uh, files uh, to support the these uh, videos and, uh, and they uh, include the, the creation of a, a, an academic or scientific uh, work a basic concept of intellectual property and good practices uh, for in uh, for teaching uh, for teachers and students uh, and the last one is the legal uh, perspective of intellectual property. Uh, in the second edition, we improved the the videos and the other uh, material and we uh, included the um, a catalog of uh, frequently asked questions obtained from the first uh, edition from the. Um, the questions of uh, participants. Well, the completion of mo modules uh, is very similar in, in, the, in both uh, uh, editions, and uh, the age of participants and the academic background is also very similar. Most of the of the participants uh, have uh, uh, between 16 and 50 years old, and uh, they are uh, they have a uh, university education, but uh, they, they, there are. Uh, different uh, types or different academic background and also uh, the current uh, professional profile uh, we can uh, distinguish uh, university teachers and uh, non-teaching non employees also because uh, <coughs> this is uh, very important also for companies and other uh, works not only at the university and uh, university students uh, well, this in the second edition it has increased the, the number of uh, uh, university students interested in this uh, topic. This is a good. Uh, and so, uh, with respect to the the, the, the other uh, questions, uh, in, uh, well, questions uh, about the these participants, uh, the, the, we asked if uh, in your daily work uh, the union to know ethical and legal uh, fundamentals of the intellectual property and most of them answered that is the, the evaluation uh, between three and four is the maximum values and do you know your rights uh, as the author on your work and most of them say that uh, not too much it's, uh, the people we don't know what are our rights uh, as, as authors uh, of work and also if you know the creative commons uh, licenses and uh, well, most of them say that I don't know what is this plus uh, license. And do you think you could do public dissemination of any file found on the internet if explicit prohibition does not appear? And well, fortunately, most of the people say no, no, I cannot use this kind of stuff. But uh, we can find some people who think that still think that uh, you, you can choose. Uh, uh, everything in internet. Uh, to, uh, at the end, we asked uh, for the participants if uh, the value of the of the utility of the contents of the course and the general value uh, with respect to what uh, they have learned about uh, in the course. And the valuation, the valuation is, uh, the values are very very high, high in, in both cases. The conclusions are that this uh, topic, intellectual property, uh, authors, <coughs> rights, everything, uh, represents a continuing, uh, continuing uh, concern for educational institutions. And uh, because they, well, there are two reasons. One is because they have to, uh, to, to, to apply the legal, the legal rules, of course, and also, also because uh, they want to to, to guarantee the, the quality of their academic uh, production of uh, students, teachers, and everybody. And the profiles of uh, participants are similar in both uh, editions. Of course, uh, the same heterogeneity. 
and the completion rates uh, of the course in both editions continue being over uh, upper, uh, 50 percent, so it's a very high uh, completion rate. Uh, the previous knowledge of participants is similar, and the needs and lacks uh, are similar also. And, but in the second edition, uh, the number of students uh, has increased. Uh, it's a very good uh, uh, news. And the, uh, uh, the has decreased the purpose of obtaining the, the certificate. The people is not so interested in obtaining the certificate <coughs> because they are interested in learning something uh, what the, is, is they are interested in. So uh, it's learning by learning, not by certificate. And the uh, high degree of, uh, of satisfaction about the usefulness and uh, about the quality of knowledge uh, they have acquired.